Hey everyone, welcome back to day 12 of our 12 day prayer challenge called Seeking Him. For 12 days we're seeking God for different things through devotion and prayer. Today our topic is Seeking God for Encouragement. So I have a quick question for you to start out today. What was your reason for participating in this 12 day prayer challenge? Did you have a specific reason or were you seeking something or did you just wanna jump in and be a part of something? Well, to be transparent, I was having anxious thoughts about the inauguration on the 20th. Now, and it wasn't fear, but I was having anxious thoughts because of change. I wasn't sure if churches would have to close again um, with healthcare changing as somebody who has healthcare needs, uh, with new mandates. I was just having anxious thoughts because there was so much change and there was so much unknown. As a person who has struggled with anxiety and depression for a really long time, I quickly realized that I needed to change my focus. I needed to capture my thoughts and change my focus. I know that whatever I fix my eyes on is what I'm going to be consumed with. So I wanted to create something that would require me to focus. And I also assumed that if I was feeling anxious, other people were probably feeling that way too. This 12 days has been a beautiful journey of redirecting my attention. And today is the final day of that prayer challenge. So I want to bring it for full circle today. I want to seek God for encouragement when we don't know what is ahead of us. Joshua chapter one, verse nine says, do not be discouraged for the Lord, your God will be with you wherever you go. Anytime that we're facing an unknown, a new challenge or an unprecedented time, we need to listen to what God told Joshua over 3000 years ago. As Joshua was about to lead God's people into the promised land, he was afraid. And he actually had reason to be afraid. He had an enormous task ahead of him and he was well aware of the dangers that he and the, pe and the people would soon be facing. He needed God's encouragement. The creator of the universe comes to us and says, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. Whatever's happening in this year with the new election and the changes and the mandates and the virus, it's not left up to chance. God is in charge and he promises to stay close to us. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's what the Bible says. Many years later, the Lord Jesus made the same promise when he said, I am with you always. And that's Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always. Not sometimes, not just if you know what's going on, not just on Sundays, I am with you always. That is the reason that we can walk with confidence into the unknown, into this new year. These scriptures and these promises allow us to just stop, to stop the anxious thoughts and the whirlwind of what ifs and just be encouraged. The same God that raised Christ from the grave lives with inside of us. Think about that inside of us. If we're believers, why are we afraid? Why are we nervous today? Let's be encouraged. No matter what your current situation is, be encouraged. God is good. Nothing that you're facing is a surprise to him. Nothing. Hold on to him. Let's capture our anxious thoughts and submit them to Christ, submit them to truth. And then let's choose to rest in him. Allow God to encourage your spirit through his track record and his love for you. The Lord, your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for loving us. I've prayed that day after day, um, being able to dig into your world or your word and realize how much you truly do love us and how much you seek after us, how much you want communion with us and how much you want us to love you back. Father, thank you so much for promising to never leave me, to never leave me in the middle of an unknown, that if I would just rest in who you are and trust you and fix my eyes on you and not the situations, not the problems that you have promised to lead me and guide me and direct me no matter what comes. Thank you for loving me that way. 
It's a beautiful kind of love. Father, I pray that we would be encouraged. We would be encouraged by the words that you say to us, that we as believers would encourage one another to not grumble, to not complain, to not be fearful or have anxious thoughts, but to trust in you. The creator of the universe promises to be with us. Why should we fear? God, I pray that encouragement can start in my home, in my church, my city, my state, and this nation, so that we, um, that we know that we don't have to have the answers because we serve an almighty God who none of this surprises and who knows every turn what's happening next. Father, thank you for choosing us, for allowing us to be your children. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this 12-day prayer challenge. It has been a great time of study for me personally, a great time of communion between um, the Lord and I, and I pray that it's been that for you as well. Starting tomorrow, we're going to do the 12 days again. We're just going to do it in the morning. So if you missed any days, you can look at it at 7 a.m., every morning starting tomorrow morning which is Monday and make sure that you share it with anybody who you think could benefit from communing with the Lord for 12 days straight over different different topics checking our heart getting us in alignment with God and making sure that we are encouraged as we go into yet another year guys I love you so much I am praying for you thank you for allowing me to go on this journey with you bye